welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Nika. Thank you so much for stopping in. So today just wanted to do a quick video about are you truly ready to be married? Um, it's just something I've been thinking about. It's like, I swear, I was in bed last night, just relaxing, not even thinking about marriage or anything like that. But it's like God just literally put it on my spirit. Like, you know what? Now that you're at peace, now that you're calm, now that, you know, you're not begging me for a husband, um, and now that you're not, you know, just so, like, on the prowl looking, like, you know, I'll, you know, I'm, I'm just honestly at a peaceful spot, a peaceful place in my life where I am overjoyed for the freedom I have right now. I'm appreciative of all the work that I've been able to do on just myself, like, it's so it's like a, it's like night and day from where I was just a year ago. So it's like now that I had that peace last night and I was just laying with God, like that was it. Like just thinking of my day, thinking of, you know, I'm getting ready to turn 33 in a couple of days. And um I just was just thinking to myself, like, okay, now that I'm in, you know, this new phase in my life you know what is it that I want you know and it's like God reminded me like you were talking about you know constantly asking me about getting married and you know focusing on that but really what was the reason are you really ready now that you see your life now are you really ready for that type of responsibility and it brought my, my attention back to the reality like there, the, like the reason that I was asking so hard because it was because one, who wanted to be single, you know what I'm saying? So I was in that phase of, you know, dealing with actually being 100% single. Um, and then on top of that, it's like I was missing companionship and it was things like, it was, you know, then also seeing like my friends all getting married and are already married or in relationships and it's like, you know, God, I'm getting older. It's like my, I was putting God on my timeline and he was like, oh no, honey, that's not what we do. And so it obviously didn't happen yet. So, um, when I was just sitting with God last night or laying with God, basically, I was just in my own zone. Um, that's when it just came to me. Like he was just revealing my reasons for during the times that I was asking and begging and pleading, um, he was just revealing the reasons to me as to why I was wanting so bad. It wasn't, I wasn't looking at the full picture. I was looking at, you know, I, I, I follow wedding groups on all my social media, which is a beautiful thing. I, I just love just seeing the couples and just being happy for somebody else. So that was really my reason. And then also to bring, you know, that hope to myself and that's where he was showing me like you gotta chill out you know what i'm saying because i was just you know watching over that and just like just always like oh god when is when am i gonna get married you know what i'm saying because it's what i'm seeing all the time i'm seeing all these these um wedding groups and everything and then i have friends that are married like i said and, and it's just like happening all around me so it was like I want to, I don't want to feel like the eyeball out and I didn't realize like that's what I was doing honestly because I don't think it was, it's like that serious to me right now because I, I'm focused on so many other things that it's, it's, yes, I'm open for a relationship, I'm open for marriage, it's just right now, you know, it's the way that I felt at first, like I was just so attached to it that it felt like you know my my life wasn't moving the way that i wanted it to it just felt like it was sitting still when in all actuality it, it wasn't and then you know it just started reminding me like you know the things that like i still have work to do you know i can cook i can clean i'm a hard worker i'm a good mom and things like that but i tend to not put a lot of efforts into those things like i mean of course with my daughter, that's my number one. But other things I let slack. Like I know how to cook, but sis, if you don't cook, if you don't use those skills, 
eventually it's not going to just it's not going to be what it used to be because you're not practicing anymore see i have a teenage daughter who likes to eat all kinds of junk and mcdonald's and all that stuff she don't care about no home cooked meal versus when i was in a relationship i liked i loved doing that because i knew that my partner enjoyed me cooking and i i don't know how to make small meals so it was just nice with me and my ex because there was a lot of family involved so it was like it was nice to actually cook and then have someone appreciate a, a home cooked meal my daughter just looked at me like it's food ready I'm, i don't care what it, it could be hot dogs i don't care I'm, I'm just hungry and so it's like a different i don't know to me cooking is just so it excites me when it makes other people happy and i don't get that because it's just me and my daughter and she doesn't care about that so that's one thing so i haven't been cooking like that um i keep things tidy but i'm nowhere near as clean as i used to be like hey if i'm not feeling it today i'm gonna i wash clothes i leave it in the hamper before i will always automatically fold my clothes up put them up you know i love folding clothes it's the weirdest thing i love folding clothes right out of the dryer you know and then you know that hasn't been it because i don't get company so it's like i don't even care like as long as it looks neat it it can still you know i i just whatever i'm not going out of my way to keep everything spotless and wiped down and clean and all that stuff which is you know something you should practice male or female nobody wants to live with somebody who's dirty or someone who who's just lazy you know what i'm saying so keep that in mind and then another thing you know god was showing me he's like look at your car girl like i have not picked my car through the car wash i'm not gonna lie to y'all it's been over a year i have not gone through a car wash because i was in the midst of well when i was moving i was in the midst of all that you know just focusing on you know figuring out how to move and then once i got here i just i really i'm still learning the city so i don't really know where car washes are at and things like that so it's just been time just going by my poor little car looked like a dust bucket and guys like come on sis you can't be stepping out your car looking bomb because i try to keep myself to get put together try to keep myself nice and clean and you know i just love fashion and i love feeling like a woman i love being feminine so it don't match with the car i'm getting out of now now my car is, is a nice car but sis needs she needs some home training I need to get back to keeping my car clean. You gotta, you gotta match. And guys, like you keep picking up stuff and dropping stuff. You taking care of yourself, but you're not taking care of your car. You take care of your home, but then you, you are lacking in another area. Like it's just, he's like, you, you gotta have it all together. I mean, you nobody needs to be perfect to get married. I'm not saying that, but I, what I am saying is, sometimes we really do need to sit down with ourselves, sit down with our creator, with our higher powers, and really, really really just think about what is the reason that you're asking for what you're asking for and i noticed a lot of people like myself were just like oh, always ready to be married where's my spouse you know when am i going to get married when am i going to get a relationship and things like that but we don't really know what all it comes it, it, it comes to it's a lot of compromise it's a lot of work it's a lot of you keeping yourself in check and that person keeping they self in check and y'all keeping each other in check it's a lot and then i think about how many times like i don't really like 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 if I say I'm at work and I'm doing something, I know that I'm doing the right thing. And someone's like trying to correct me and it's like, I already did that. And it's like that frustrating feeling. And it's like, since that's another thing right there, you, you going into a, you trying to go into a marriage, your husband going to be correcting you. And even if he's wrong, you can't be snapping. You know what I'm saying? You got to chill. You got to, you got to learn how to communicate better. You got to learn how to res be respectful and, and watch your tones and, you know, learn how to just say okay even if you already did the right thing but your spouse is trying to correct you long as they're not yelling at you hurting you or anything like that just say okay babe you know what i'm saying and and that's something that's i'm i'm working on it like i am i'm getting so much better like i practice that with everybody instead of arguing and being defensive because that that's your girl i mean i don't like to bring zodiac into it but i almost i am an aries woman but you know sometimes it's, it's not easy to bow down or it's not easy to say okay you know i'm gonna just let, let this person have it you know what i'm saying so you know things like that he was just revealing to me and then you know the fact like i like to like i like to be in control like not in a negative way 
but like finances and you know keeping the house together you know just being in control to to that point of you know where i feel like i have things you know in order for me and that's not gonna work either no marriage so it was just a lot of things i was like you know what guy you are absolutely right and i am so thankful that i am still single right now because i do have work to do i do have i, I like to do what i want to do if i want to go out of town i, I don't want to be asking nobody can i go out of town I don't want to be asking nobody if I could spend time with my family or my friends. I'm not ready for all that right now. So, you know, it's just things like when I think about it, you know, and it's still trying to just figure out where, where, like trying to get my life settled here in Texas. Like what church am I, do I want to go to? What friends do I want? What kind of things do I enjoy doing? Like I don't want to have to be trying to figure that out as well as trying to please somebody else right now, you know? And so... I, it made me really open my eyes and I was like, you know what, I'm going I'm to do a video about that because that's so true. I think a lot of times we look at the glitz and the glamour of a marriage, like as far as the wedding and saying, you know, look at my ring and I got a wife, I got a husband. And, you know, like we look at that as winning in life, but the true, true winning in life is when you can actually go into something whole and you can say, you know, what, I enjoyed these parts of my life. Now I'm ready to share my new life with someone else you know i'm not trying to step out and cheat i'm not trying to be at the clubs flirting with people i'm not trying to manipulate nothing you when you're ready and you're 100 got yourself together and you know you're ready to to share life with somebody that's when you're winning that's when you can have a healthy marriage you're not going to divorce that's when everything just flows because you you already got all the other stuff out your system you already know what you want 100 or 80% you know what you want and you found somebody to match that so y'all let me know what you think that was just something that was crazy because I was like you know what you know sometimes you get a little down the scare is like what's wrong with me you know like I'm, I'm doing all this I'm doing a b and c guy why isn't this happening for me but it's happening for everybody else but then when you take a walk with God or you take a walk with your higher power they want what's best for you and so they want to prepare you for what you're praying for so that's why he revealed it to me and i was like you know what i do have work to do and it gave me a different way of looking at things it changed my view on it and i was like i'm not i'm not i won't be happy to just say i'm married i want a happy fulfilled healthy with strong boundaries with strong love and with god in the middle with you know true dedication true loyalty i want all that my, i want to marry my best friend you know what I'm saying? Somebody who loves me and likes me. I don't want to just be like, oh, I'm, I'm just getting married just because, you know, it's the thing to do. And I, I got this beautiful wing, this beautiful ring and, you know, they look good. I look good, whatever the case is. And let's just do this. No, I want something that is to death do us part. And that, that person wants that with me. Not that I'm forcing it. Not that they feel guilty and staying into the marriage because of that. Like, I want them to want that. And I want to want that with my person. So that's my take on it. That's my own opinion. Y'all let me know what you think. Drop in the comment box below. Of course, we'll keep the conversation going. And we will talk next time. Bye.